Hello everybody, welcome to Joshua's Generation. Thank you so much everyone for your great support on this channel. God bless you. I see the great works you are doing. Alright, today I want to share a very powerful video on the prophetic dimension. How to operate in the prophetic. How to practically hear God speak to you. Now, this secret I want, to, I want to share is going to work for both your personal life. Because I've heard many people say, oh, I hear God for many people. I hear God, but I don't hear God for myself. This secret is going to help you both in your personal life and in the administration of God's word to somebody. Meaning, you can also hear for yourself and hear for other people. All right? This is a secret. This secret has worked for me. All right? I woke up this morning and the Lord, yeah, I had a leading to share with you. So please don't skip this video. All right? Now, we're actually in a prophetic generation. Are you get what I'm saying? And the secret, the major secret to stand out in our generation is the voice of God. If we neglect the voice of God in our generation, we are going to be confused as ever. As the Bible says, as many that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So we appreciate the ministry of the prophetic. I thank God God uses me in the prophetic. We also, I, I will also teach you how to hear God. All right? So you got to say, if you practice this principle, you are going to hear. Now, let me give you, let me just give you a portion of scripture. The Bible says in Psalm, Psalm 49, verse 3, it says, My mouth shall speak wisdom. Now, look how it says. And it says, it says, my mouth shall speak wisdom and the meditation of my heart shall give understanding. Are you seeing it? So, for your mouth to speak the counsel of God, for your mouth to speak the wisdom that God is depositing, something must happen. It says, first of all, the meditation of your heart must give understanding. Now, prophetically speaking, this meditation I'm speaking about here is not the meditation on God, on the word of God, on, you know, the scriptures. The meditation I'm speaking about here is meditating on the issue you want to hear God about. So, for example, you want to travel, all right, and you want to hear God. He says, he says, the meditation of my heart shall give understanding and my mouth shall speak wisdom. So, if somebody is standing beside me and I meditate on this person, I place that person in my heart, Trusting the Lord to reveal something to me, and it's, it's called prophetic probing. We probe in the spirit also. And you are looking at the person, you are searching, you are searching. Guess what? The Bible says your mouth will speak wisdom because the, what God wants you to speak will drop into your heart. Now pay attention. Pay attention. This thing works faster if you are given to spiritual civilization, if you are given to prayers consistently, you are given to study of God's word, you are given to fasting, you are given to worship, you are given to worship. It will work faster. So even if this practice delays, if you keep practicing it, in the realm of the spirit, practice makes perfect. All right, please, before I continue, just give us a thumb up, just help us like this video, because when you do so, the, 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 the analytics of YouTube helps us share this video to a greater number of people. And please don't forget to comment also. All right, if you don't practice, you cannot master. You understand what I'm saying? So it says, the meditation of my heart gives understanding. So, gives understanding. So this is it. I'm about to travel and I'm there. And I'm thinking about the trip. I'm meditating in my heart about the trip. Something will happen. God will give me detail about that trip. If I, if paraventure I fall asleep, a revelation is going to come. This is the secret. Now let me show you another scripture. Verse 4 says something. It says, I will incline my ear to a proverb. Oh my God. I will incline my ear. The ear, yeah, is not speaking, if you read the original Hebrew translation, the ear is not speaking about your, the physical ear. It's speaking about the ear of the heart. If you if you go to the Hebrew translation, you are going to see, I incline my heart. Are you getting what I'm saying? He said, I will incline my heart to, listen, and guess what God said? He says, I will disclose my dark saying on the harp. The dark saying speaks of the secrets of God. So God is saying, if you incline your ear, God will disclose the dark sayings. It will disclose a secret. Look at, he said, on a harp. The harp is the musical instrument. So it means that number two, if you learn how to be in the atmosphere of worship. Kai, 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 kai. This thing is deep. So I'm praying, brate kusala parate. And maybe I'm playing worship on my phone to make me journey faster. The dark saying, the secret of the Lord is going to drop. Meditate on that issue. Listen, the principle of scripture is that the word of God must come. Let me show you something. In Psalm 77, verse 6, Let's, let's go there. The book of Psalm, chapter 77, from verse 6. It says, I'm going to read the B part. It says, I meditate within my heart, and my spirit makes diligent searches. I meditate within my heart. Kai. 
Meaning, the, the, when I take the posture of meditation, marash, I'm not talking about yoga or those stuff. <laughs> I'm talking about meditation, probing in your heart, placing the matter you need clarity on. Immediately I take that posture. The Bible says, my spirit begins to make diligent searches. So it means your spirit will begin to search, begin to search for answers, begin to search, and immediately it picks it from the, from the realm of God, it brings it to you. And all of a sudden, you say, oh, I just woke up from this dream. Oh, I had this vision. Oh, I just heard God. Oh, I just thought about this and I saw the reality. Oh my God. This is why, as a believer, you must guard your heart from every form of offense. Listen, you must guard your heart. Look at, look at what Psalm 38 verse 10 said. He said, my heart pants. My strength fails me. Now, that my heart pants, in another version, he says, my heart is worried. He said, and my strength failed me. As for the light of my eyes, it has also gone from me. It means that the eye, light, listen, it is a light in the eyes that establishes, that helps you see in the spirit. That's what Apostle Paul said, let your eyes be flooded with light. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17. Or let the eyes of your understanding be enlightened, that you may know the hope. Are you getting what I'm saying? So it means that you need to guard your heart from offense, from hurt. Anything you know we affect your heart, run away from it. Because these things should cycle the power of God in your heart. It, it, it reduces the potency of getting revelation from God. If you practice the secrets, I tell you the truth, you have just become a very strong prophetic believer. Please don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. We are going to continue on this prophetic series. Seal the body lifts and we enter into another curriculum. Thank you for watching. God bless you.